हेलो वेलकम बैक टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अल्कलिनिटी ऑफ वाटर एंड इट्स एक्सपेरिमेंटल डिटर्मिनेशन नाउ द क्वेश्चन एराइजेज व्हाट इज अल्कलिनिटी ऑफ वाटर द अल्कलिनिटी ऑफ ए वाटर सैंपल इज इट्स क्वांटिटेटिव कैपेसिटी टू न्यूट्राइज ए स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड अप टू ए डिजाइनेटेड पी एच लेवल इन सिंपल वर्ड्स द एसिड न्यूट्राइजिंग कैपेसिटी दैट इज ए एन सी ऑफ ए वाटर सैंपल मे बी कॉल्ड इट्स अल्कलिनिटी दस वी कैन से दैट द एबिलिटी द कैपेसिटी ऑफ ए वाटर सैंपल टू न्यूट्राइज ए स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड अप टू ए डिजाइनेटेड पी एच लेवल इज कॉल्ड इट्स अल्कलिनिटी वॉट आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ अल्कलिनिटी ऑफ वाटर सी एस यू थ्री लीच फ्रोम द रॉक्स एंड सॉइल आर द मेन सोर्स ऑफ अल्कलिनिटी इन द सर्फेस वाटर अल्कलिनिटी ऑफ वाटर is also produced by the action of water and co2 on cso3 cso3 reacts with h2o and co2 forming water soluble calcium bicarbonate both calcium carbonate and calcium bicarbonate have ability to neutralize acid calcium carbonate reacts with h2so4 forming caso4 plus h2o plus co2 similarly calcium bicarbonate also react with h2so4 forming caso4 plus 2h2o plus co2 thus the alkalinity of a water sample is mainly due to the presence of calcium carbonate and calcium bicarbonate in it however the alkalinity of water may also be due to the presence of oh minus in it because oh minus ion neutralizes acid we have seen that the alkalinity of water is due to the presence of calcium carbonate calcium bicarbonate and hydroxide ion however the alkalinity of a water sample is always expressed in terms of milligrams of calcium carbonate present per liter of water sample the alkalinity of drinking water should be in the range 220 to 200 mg cso3 per liter it is permissible alkalinity in the drinking water determination of alkalinity of water sample its theory the alkalinity of a water sample can be determined by titrating it against a standard 0.02 NH2SO4 solution first up to the ph value 8.3 using phenolphthalein as an indicator it gives phenolphthalein alkalinity of the water sample first of all the water sample is titrated against 0.02 nh2so4 using phenolphthalein as an indicator up to ph value 8.3 and it gives phenolphthalein alkalinity of the water sample it involves the following reaction carbonate ion reacts with h plus ion of h2so4 forming bicarbonate ion thereafter the same reaction mixture of the conical flask is titrated against the standard 0.02 NH2SO4 solution up to pH value 
to 5.4 using methyl orange as an indicator. Methyl orange indicator is added to the same reaction mixture of the conical flask and it is titrated against 0.02 NH2SO4 solution up to pH value 4.2 to 5.4 and it gives total alkalinity of water sample. It involves the following reaction bicarbonate ion formed earlier reacts with H plus ion forming H2O and CO2. Reagents required for this titration. First of all, 0.02 NH2S4 solution is required. 2.8 ml conch sulfuric acid having density 1.84 gram per centimeter cube is dissolved in distilled water and the volume is made 1000 ml to get 0.1 NH2SO4 solution. 200 ml of this solution is again diluted to 1000 ml to get 0.02 NH2SO4 solution thus 0.02 NH2SO4 solution is prepared. Second one, phenolphthalein solution, which has been used as indicator. 0.5 gram phenolphthalein is dissolved in 50 ml, 95% ethanol, and then 50 ml distilled water is added to it, and thus we get phenolphthalein indicator solution. Second indicator is methyl orange. 100 mg of methyl orange is dissolved in distilled water and the volume is made 200 ml. Thus we get methyl orange indicator solution. Procedure 50 ml water sample is taken in a conical flask and 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator are added to it. As a result, the color of the solution in the conical flask becomes pink. The solution is titrated against 0.02 NH2SO4 solution until the pink color disappears. It gives phenolphthalein alkalinity of water sample. Then 2 to 3 drops of methyl orange are added to the conical flask and again titrated against 0.02 NH2SO4 solution until the pink color of the solution reappears. It gives total alkalinity. Changes in color of the content of conical flask. This is A initial color of solution of water sample after adding phenolphthalein solution after adding phenolphthalein solution to alkaline water sample it becomes pink colored at the end point during titration against 0.02 NH2SO4 solution the pink color disappears and the solution becomes almost colorless then on adding methyl orange to the conical flask, the color of the solution becomes yellow and at the end point during titration against 0.02N solution, H2SO4 solution, the yellow color of the solution transforms orange. Observations volume of water sample which has been taken in the conical flask equals to 50 ml volume of 0.02 NH2SO4 solution consumed with phenolphthalein indicator UML and volume of 0.02 NH2SO4 solution consumed with methyl orange indicator 
is VML. And the total volume of 0.02 NH2 support solution consumed with both the indicators U plus VML. When phenolphthalein indicator is used, UML H2 support solution is consumed. When methyl orange indicator is used, VML H2 support solution is consumed. And in the case of both the indicators, total volume of 0.02 NH2 support solution consumed is U plus VML. Calculations 50 ml water sample reacts with that is is equivalent to UML 0.02 N H2 support solution. Therefore, 1000 ml water sample will be equivalent to 0.02 into U divided by 50 into 1000 ml N H2 support solution. And we know that 1000 ml 1 N H2 support solution contains 1 gram equivalent H2 support and therefore it will be equal to 0.02 U into 1000 divided by 50 by 1000 gram equivalent H2 support. 1000, 1000 will be cancelled out and it will be equal to 0.00004 U gram equivalent H2 support and it will be equivalent to same number of gram equivalent of calcium carbonate and we know that 1 gram equivalent calcium carbonate is equal to 50 gram and therefore it will be multiplied by 50 to get mass of CSCO3 in gram and 1 gram CSCO3 is equal to 1000 mg accordingly on solving it will become 0.02 U gram CaCO3 and in milligram it will be multiplied by 1000 and it is equal to 20 U milligram CaCO3. Thus the phenolphthalein alkalinity of water is equal to simply 20 U mg CaCO3 per liter where U is the volume of 0.02 N H2 support solution consumed during titration using phenolphthalein as indicator. This equation can be generalized as follows. Phenolphthalein alkalinity of water equals to U volume of H2 support solution into normality of H2 support solution into 1000 into 50 divided by water sample in ml. Similarly, total alkalinity of water sample can be given by U plus V multiplied by normality of H2O4 solution multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 50 divided by volume of water sample in ml. Now the time for self-assessment. Please read the given question carefully. 50 ml of a water sample was titrated against 0.02 NH2 support solution using phenolphthalein indicator. 3.8 ml acid solution was required to attain the end point when phenolphthalein is used as indicator. On adding methyl orange indicator to the conical flask, Further, 3.5 ml of the acid solution was required to attain the end point. Calculate the phenolphthalein alkalinity and total alkalinity of the water sample. When phenolphthalein indicator is used, 3.8 ml acid solution is required to attain the end point. And when methyl orange indicator is used, 3.5 ml more H2 support solution is required to attain the end point then we have to calculate phenolphthalein alkalinity and total alkalinity of the water sample. Here is the solution of problem. 
phenolphthalein alkalinity of water sample. This formula we have already seen earlier. U volume of 0.02 N-H2SO4 solution 3.8 ml. The normality of H2SO4 solution 0.02 into 1000 into 50 and this is volume of water sample. 50-50 will be cancelled out and on solving we will get 76 milligram CaCO3 per liter. This is phenolphthalein alkalinity of water. Total alkalinity of water can be calculated by using U plus V, U 3.8 ml and V 3.5 ml. On solving this equation, we get 146 milligram calcium carbonate per liter. Thus, total alkalinity is equal to 146 milligram per liter and phenolphthalein alkalinity of the water sample is 76 milligram calcium carbonate per liter. Thank you for watching the video with patience. We will meet again with another video.